April 16th. One of the top pound for pound fighters on the planet, undefeated world champion Errol Spence Jr. takes on title holder Yordanis Ugas, hot off a career defining win. One epic stage, two dominant champions, three world titles on the line. Time to put up or shut up. Spence versus Ugas for the Unified Welterweight World Championship, Saturday, April 16th, live on pay-per-view. I remember talking with Derek about this, and he, he said he even remember in camp when you were getting ready for Pacquiao and you had taken a shot, and you're like, oh, ah, it messed with your eye, but you just kept on spawning. Did you know then that maybe you had a problem? And, and when you got the, the notice right before the fight, like, hey, you're gonna need surgery. I mean, what went through your mind? You're thinking, man, I just went through this accident, and now this? No, nah, I didn't know. I didn't know I had a redness here, but I do remember when it happened because when the guy hit me, like I felt like a little, I heard a little pop, and then I, I went back to the corner, I'm like man, my eye or whatever. Derek looked at my eye, things like that. And then I actually came back out there and sparred like four or five more rounds, and then two days later I had sparred again, and then it was I had to go to the to the to the eye doctor to do my exams and stuff like that. So I went to the eye doctor, he looked in there and he was like, he was like, man, something going on with your eye. I can't really tell right now because I ain't got the um, the stuff to really just look deep inside your eye. But it's something going on in there. You need to go see an eye specialist or whatever. And then even even like. Before that, like when it happened after my sparring, I did see a little shadow up mm. there, but I didn't want to say nothing. I didn't want to say nothing because I'm like, man, if I say something, you know, they might, you know, get me out of the fight or say I can't fight or something like that. So I was like, you know, nothing. Everything there. was good. Yeah, everything was good. Like I said, I went to go see the eye doctor and I was just like, he was like, do you see like a little shadow to you, your far, your far left? And I was like, I mean, I see a little something, but it ain't nothing too crazy. Yeah. Like, it's not disrupting my vision or yeah. whatever. And then he was, he was like, all right, I'm gonna give you this. Um, he gave me something to go see an um, eye specialist or whatever. But I actually didn't go. We went to to Vegas and we went to go see the, um, I think it was the commission's doctor. Went to go see the commission doctor. And the commission doctor looked at my eye within two minutes or a minute, he was like, I got some good news, I got some bad news. He was like, the bad news is, there's no way you can fight. He was like, the good news is, I mean, it's partially detached, so, I mean, they can put it back on, but, you know, there's no way you can be able to fight. And I was like, so I can't have this, even if I don't spar anymore, because I got one more week to the fight, and if I don't spar anymore, anything, I said, can I, can I still fight? He said, I. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to like get in the eye, move around, do whatever I got to do. You know, I just want to fight. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you're going to lose. He was like, you, you, lose, you might, it's a possibility you might lose your eye. He was like, I can't let you fight. And I was like, <laughs> in my head, you know, I'm just being, you know, dumb. I'm just like, man, I got another eye. <laughs> I got another eye. <laughs> yeah, I, got the, like, I got two eyes. Like, I can see how both eyes, you know, fine. You know, I'm, you know, I'll be good. You know, he was like, nah, there's, there's no way I can let you fight. And wow. Then, you know, th looking back at it now, you know, I'm glad I didn't, you know, take that fight because that could have been, you know, my last fight and that could have, you know, messed me up permanently. So, you know, it was a good thing, you know, stuff happened for a reason and things like that. So basically couldn't have a fight. So I flew back to Dallas, um, had my eye surgery immediately and uh, had to sit out for like, rest for like five weeks. Cause I didn't know a lot of stuff like you do with your eyes. Like even like when you lifting weights, you know, it take, you know, eye stress. Mm -hmm. Or when you run it's eye stress and things like that. So I couldn't do nothing more, just walk. And basically, you know, they said I couldn't even lift up heavy stuff, anything like that. Like I could just walk. So after the five, six weeks of, you know, just being on, uh, you know, just resting. You know, I started working out and I've been working out ever since then. Wow. Um, can you give me, and you remember, just your thoughts, because you felt like that was going to be a legacy fight for you. What, what was your emotions, you know, when you got that word and he said, hey, look, you know, can't fight, you not going to have to have surgery, you could possibly lose your eye, just your emotions. Yeah, I'm definitely mad. I, you know, I was like, damn, man, like, you know, this was like basically, you know, my, you know, my, 
you know. Ray Leonard, when Terry Noah fought, shoot Ray Leonard. Like, when Floyd fought De La Hoya, like, you know, this is basically my coming out, basically my crossover, mm -hmm. my crossover appeal, because that's what, you know, Pacquiao brought. You know, he's a he's an icon of the sport, and everybody knows, knows Pacquiao. You know, so that was basically, you know, my coming out. And, you know, for that to happen, I was like, man, you know, and then at some point, you know, I, I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> you know, it is what it is, you know, stuff happened for a reason, you know, can't dwell on it too much, you know. Just got to get back in here and stay focused and, um, you know, I get the winner. And I actually watched the, you know, Pacquiao who got fight, I was like, you know, watching Pacquiao fight, I was like, man, <laughs> I could have been me. Yeah, I could have hurt this yeah, guy. Yeah, <laughs> I like, man, I could have hurt that man. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was just like, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. Did, um, did it hurt you that immediately once you had to pull out of a fight, there were a number of people got on social media and was like, he just didn't want to fight Pacquiao. He's not really hurt. There were a number of guys who even questioned, even people who were fighters, former fighters. Uh, came out and questioned whether or not your eye injury was was serious. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. For me, like you say, former fighters like Bernard Hawkins. Yes. Yeah, he came out and said, "I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, why would I potentially the that was the biggest money fight? You know, I had you know so many endorsements for that fight and things like that, and I'm gonna put out that fight making all that money, the notoriety, the popularity out of the game just for winning that fight and." probably would have transitioned me into a, you know, a bigger star than I am. And I'm going to pull out that fight a week before the fight. You know, why, why would I do that? You know, just for having people to question me and then, you know, his fighter, you know, drop out of fight. And I'm like, why don't you question him about it? And then, you know, he didn't say nothing about that, you know. So it was just crazy to me having people, especially people who, it was crazy having people who boxed before, you know, telling me that I put out a fight, especially a fight of that magnitude. That's like Bernard Hawkins putting out a fight, you know, a week before he had to fight De La Hoya. You know, people have been like, oh, you put out that fight? But I mean, you crazy, that was, that's a life changing fight for me. Why would I pull out that fight? You know, so for me, that was that was crazy that he even, you know, said something like that. You know, I could see people who never boxed before or, you know, you got hecklers or people that, you know, trolls that, you know, on Twitter, Instagram, social media that say little stuff. Oh, he put out a fight on purpose. He didn't want to fight Pac-Man. But for somebody, you know, that, you know, who I held in high regard, like Bernard Hawkins to say something like that, I was like, why would he say something like that? Yeah. When have I ever put out a fight? When have I ever missed weight for a fight? You know, so it was, it was, it was kind of crazy to me.